Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on... War of the Cybertron Trilogy, Kingdom, Tigertron. Now, this guy was highly anticipated. I mean, this guy pretty much won Best Toy before he was even released, so... That... Did that really uh, tell you something? Now, of course, we do have the box to look at. So, of course, we got Tigertron in both modes. We've got his name with English and Cybertronian lettering. Side, we got all the characters in Kingdom. Got Tigertron in both modes. Got what looks to be a cave painting of Tigertron's beast mode. And that's pretty much it for the box. Also included is the card, which it's pretty much a 50 50 chance if I remember or not. And peeling this, well, first of all, it's black arachnia, I forgot to say. But peeling this, we get dark arachnia. So, if anything, this is actually similar to the Dynamis card. And this kind of poses a cool uh, sounding alternate universe where instead of Cyclonus and Scourge, we get dark arachnia and Dynamis, which is actually kind of cool sounding. This is actually sort of making me want a Beast Wars version of Transformers the movie. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the card. And moving on to the figure. Well, of course, Tigertron is a great white tiger. I mean, of course, he's always been that. And we're having a closer look. Well, right off the bat, well, there are, there's bits that seem like he he has yellowed, but that's not from uh, photo uh, what's the term? photo degradation. That's actually how the figure is meant to look. I'm not sure if it's meant to homage the uh, uh, the OG figure or if it's like something that actual white tigers have, but like seeing how like. Hasbro's uh, other Transformers have been uh, yellowing quite a lot uh, recently. Studio Series Ratchet, for example. Uh, War for Cybertron Soundwave. Like, I can't help but just think that this guy's yellowed a, a, a wee bit every time I see him, even though this is not actual yellowing. If they just made him all white, then I would have uh, preferred it. Because with the recent uh, reissue of Tigertron, the, the reissue of the OG figure, they removed the yellow effect and just made it all white. So why did they didn't make this guy all uh, white is just beyond me. God, that sounds way out of context. Let's just move on. Well, the actual tiger head looks really nice. Of course, he can't open his mouth. I know, maybe he's witnessing the death of the other uh, white tiger like in the show. Okay, that was too soon. Or he's just roaring. And of course, other bits of articulation. Front paws can move. If you want, he can T-pose. Move here. These can move. You can take a leak just like a dog. This can move. So, yeah. And it doesn't really serve a purpose in this mode, but you can lift this up. Yeah, that's more for the robot mode. 
Speaking of the Robin mode, you do get some visible uh, detailing here, but that was also on Cheetor. Also, you, you, you do get a visible hinge here, but, well, I'll let it uh, pass because Beast Modes are always going to have kibble. Now for accessories, well of course the tail is removable, but we'll show that in the transformation, but one thing that this guy gets that Cheetor didn't have, the gut gun! I mean, sure, it's a separate piece and not actually part of the tiger mode, but still, the fact that you get the gut blaster is definitely a step up from Cheetor, in my opinion. So... Now, if you want Tigertron to shoot, like, intestine juice at his enemies, and he can. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, this can't plug onto, onto Tigertron, but... Now his guts are just hanging out like, I don't know, someone shot him and cut his stomach open... As if they're just trying to hunt the uh, tigers, that's what it's like. So, yeah, not really the best weapon storage. But, of course, you can just leave this off if you want. Now, for comparison, here he is with Cheetor. And, uh, uh, as I said, these guys do not share a mold. This guy is a Voyager class. This guy is a Deluxe class. I mean, one difference is Cheetor's tail is more uh, upright, whereas Tigertron's is more uh, downward. So, yeah. Like, the, there were probably, like, plans in the early stages of... Kingdom to make Tigertron a recolor of a uh, Gior, but they're, they're probably scrapped. I mean, come on, Polical was going to be in Kingdom, but was uh, cut, so who knows? Now, that's pretty much it for the Beast Mode. I do quite like it, but the yellow effect is kind of distracting, in my opinion. I mean, who knows? This figure might actually start yellowing in a couple of years, and I might not even tell. But well, let's just get onto the transformation. Alright, quick jump cut. I was getting cheat or transformed for the comparison late, uh, later on, but to get this guy transformed, of course you just remove the tail, just like with cheat or. If you had the gut gun attached, you just remove that as well. And to start, just bring the legs down. Get the robot feet out, or some, just like Cheat or Only you push this in. Get that flipped around. Flip up these heels. So you got that going on. Get the beast legs down. Try and open up the torso. Get the arms out. Get the beast mode head down like so. Open it up. Get the robot head out. So this bit's different from she or just according that down. Get these bits inward.
then just uh, fold up these bits. And there you have Tigertron in robot mode. So yeah, I made a quick free six, free uh, free sixty of them. This is this is when my tongue stops working. Those transform quite similar to Chi Aura, although there are a few differences. Taking a look at the head. Of course, that's definitely his head. And in fact, I didn't show. I, I didn't show this earlier, but if you want, you can't have his head showing in the beast mode. Now, of course, you can just give him his weapons. So I'm just giving him the gut blaster and the tail uh, weapon. So you can have that going on. And of course, as I showed, this is Blast Effect compatible. I'm just using a red one because it looks like it's come on. It's a it's a gut blaster. It should be shooting blood, even if it, you know this is a Cybertronian character. <laughs> And of course, we can still do the laser feet. We can fit these in. Like so. Now, comparing him with Chi Or. Well, you can definitely see a size difference. And you can also see that the way that the front legs uh, transform are different as well. Plus the, the way that the tails transform. Now just moving the weapon so we can get onto the articulation. Now for Tigertron's articulation, the head can move side to side. The arms can move up, although it can't go all the way of course. Of course you can T-pose. An elbow joint. In fact, thanks to the transformation, he's got a double elbow. He's got a bicep rotation. He's got wrist rotation. He's got a waist rotation. Let's go forward that far. Back, not that f far. So he's got a flap that accommodates. Do the splits. Really good ankle pivot. This can swivel. It's got a knee joint. And you can kind of move his feet. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this guy. Giving him his, we his weapons back. So, complaints. Well, I'm not a fan of the yellow wing effect. I mean, sure, it does homage the, uh, the OG figure, but seeing how the, the reissue didn't have that, 
I'd be perfectly fine with just going on having it either. I mean, seriously, like, you can just see how distracting that is. I mean, it might not be distracting to you, but for me, it definitely is. I also think that there's some bits of the transformation that can be a little bit fiddly. Although, again, that's probably just me. But well, do 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 I recommend this figure? I can't even speak anymore. Well, seeing how these flaws are just nitpicks. I, uh, my brain just blacked out there. Do I recommend this figure? Well, despite those flaws, which I'm fairly certain you might not even have. Yes, this is a really fun figure, and I like this guy way more than she or. I mean, I find his transformation to be more fun, especially how the head transforms. I find his size to be way better. And, well, I just find this guy to be more fun. I mean, you might be a truck not monkey kind of guy, but if you're a Beast Wars fan, then come on. This guy is definitely necessary for your collection. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite figures when it comes to the Beast Wars uh, collection in Kingdom. Well, this has been my review on Kingdom Tigatron, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.